Okay, I'm back and thanks for giving me the opportunity to test the Madhouse Tarot. A deck that everybody is afraid of. Um, that's what I've heard, but I think it's a very gentle and sensitive deck, which I really like. And I am going to use the outline of the Hermits, a spread called the Hermits Mirror. Um, Again. Oh, that was a mess. Let's do that again. Because messier than that isn't possible. Let me see. About you. And you wanted a general reading. And some insight on your father, and your sisters and yourself. But... I think I will do the general reading somewhere next week and focus on this right now. For the general reading, I'm just going to use another deck. So let's see uh, about you. This is you. Um, the Fool is about losing your head, losing your mind, and also having divine wisdom. It's the Fool, it's the first card in the deck, which is always an exciting thing. It's the start, it's the beginning. Um, so, you have sort of an offbeat approach to life, non-conformity of thinking... A little bit eccentricity of behavior, a lot of intuition, a strong connection with your gut and gut feelings. And maybe being able to play the cards already chipped and scratched, which I hate. Why? Okay, I'm distracted. It's so disappointing. Um, but that is what you get when you use a deck, right? So why am I complaining about this? Um, you are able to play some mind tricks on yourself. That's this card also, where you can fool yourself into thinking certain things. Where, in fact, the reality is a little bit different. Um... Or can be a little bit different. And you get stuck in a loop. And it's important to find your way out and find your way through that portal. So you can escape madness. Um, you are able to express yourself. You aren't a slave of the system or any attachment. Some Things are about fear of yourself, uh, maybe a little bit of avoidance of stable relationships, and also thinking very highly of yourself. So I hope this makes sense, but it is a good beginning. It is leaving behind the past. It's about getting outside your own box, and that's that one. Then we have the Five of Swords, which is... What I always, what I also found in this card, the Fool card, is um, tricking yourself. Looking in the mirror and thinking, that's not me, that's not supposed to happen, this is not the way it goes, this is completely wrong. Um, I think the Five of Swords is... A strong card where you, I don't know how to put this, let me think about this a little bit better. Five of Swords is about, in this case, it's again about the mind tricks. Where you have a very strong idea about reality, where reality actually is a little bit different than you thought it was. And you are a little bit different than you have defined yourself. So this offers a opportunity to evolve and to grow. 
look into the mirror and see your true self and accepting yourself without judgment, without frustration, without anger. But winning this game is kind of difficult. You can win this game, especially with the fool there. But on its own, it's a strong card where there's more loss than gain. You're losing yourself. If you don't look in the mirror and accept yourself completely, uh, where you are able to embrace yourself and hug yourself and accept yourself, then, you know, this is important. This I think this is the most important message, that you find it hard to look at the truth, look at yourself and accept the things for what they are and forgive and move on. That's that card. And then we have... The Six of Coins, this is about sharing, about give and take, about um, having a lot to offer, being able to help people, but also about accepting advice and help and gifts from others without feeling a victim or without feeling a lesser being or that kind of thing. So... Uh, being in the world with people, accepting the things that are given to you or reject them, but not reject everything. And sometimes, you know, accept a little mouse or a little metal. You know, sometimes life sucks. Um, it's not about begging, by the way. It is sharing, it is give and take, it is accepting things and also giving things without, you know, expecting things to happen in return. Um, maybe this does mean that there is a little bit of injustice in what's given to you or what you have to give that you are... Not in the mood to share a lot of details of your life or share in wealth or share in secrets or share in, you know, little joys of life. I think this is about being grateful for being you. And not always being able to, you know, sometimes you might think, you know, you don't have anything to offer. Or what you have to offer is not enough. Or not good enough. Or, but it is. So, this is about you. And maybe I will keep these cards for next week as a focus point. Because sometimes it's nice to have a focus point. About. Um, and I'm already eight minutes on my way. Which is terribly long. But it is what it is. About your father. A very strict man that is over obsessed with material gain, money, wealth, safety, security, protection. Very earthy, not very interested in the spiritual. That's what I see here. Um, interested in... Not giving, and maybe that's the issue here, that your dad wasn't able to give. He was able to take care of himself, but he was only interested in taking care of himself and not really taking care of others with emotional support or spiritual guidance or things like that. But he had a long way behind him and ahead of him where he was drowning in ideas that again mind fuckering mind fucking games mind trickery and he wasn't able to look at life and take it the way it was you know accept life accept himself he was very very full of himself but accept the weaker parts of himself the feminine side the more caring beautiful caressing side he was drowning in imaginary 
phantoms in a imaginary world in mind fuckery that he created himself so let's call it that way this is your dad so there is a little bit of a big trickster here a little trickster there so you did pick up on some of that you did pick up on you're still carrying some of this you're not over obsessed with material and uh worldly everyday life stuff but there is an issue with giving taking taking care of others taking care of yourself accepting that others can take care of you or have something for you have something important for you or something fun um these are very strong cards and these are i think leftover remains and you are able to reset reboot and start over start fresh um then we have uh two sisters and i don't know much about them either so let's So this is a sister one, sister one is four of coins, again, material wealth, material gain, material, very interested in material things, um, this is a car that you that she wants to hold on to everything that she believes belongs to her but gets overly obsessed with uh, the material with little things small things she has issues with determining what is important and what isn't so she carries around a lot of the uh, material burdens and worries and that kind of thing. She also has secrets, lots of secrets. She she is smart, she is wise, she has a high level of spiritual insight, but she's hiding in a way. So this is the Ten of Swords where, you know, her brain has been picked by others, by herself. There's not much left to think about. That's why she holds on to whatever is left. Because in her mind, everything is a mess. Everything's lost. There was nothing to win, nothing to gain, nothing to learn. But, you know, her core is very spiritual. Her outer layer is obsessed with... Maybe hoarding in a way. You can also hoard feelings. You can hoard trauma. You can hoard memories. You can hoard things. You can hoard puppets and bears. And um, but there, her inner layer, this outer layer. This is her core. This is her inner layer is all about pain, suffering. But it's an end. You have started a new cycle. She is at the end. Not yet able to reboot and start fresh. So that's sister one. Let me know. I love to have some feedback because I am literally in the dark here. Um, I have a light on. But in the Netherlands, half past four, it gets dark. And five o'clock, it's pitch black. Uh, except for a couple of street lights and car lights and bike lights and it's dark so i'm literally in the dark but i'm also spiritually in the dark i have no idea what i'm doing sister two a uh, quick insight in sister two is about here we have the four of she is sister one is attached to a lot of material stuff and things she can touch and this is being closed off in emotions holding on to emotions uh, being stuck in emotions not being able to escape the you are out of the box she's inside the box she's at the end of the circle she is still inside the box uh, going in circles and 
her mind is racing, I think. But there is hope. There is a lot of hope here. By the way, these are beautiful cards. For you, the fool, which makes perfect sense, matches your energy. High priest here and the star here. She has hope. Even though she's completely stuck, going in circles, going in loops with a lot of racing and speed. She has high hopes of, you know, escaping the circle. So, uh, even though we can also already see what, what you guys have in common and what the issues are, I want to pull some cards on what is out of reach. What is things that you cannot influence, things that are uh, beyond your, you know, your spiritual stretch. Let's call it that way. I am looking at these three cards. Out of reach is being able to feel 100% secure in the material world. About feeling safe, about feeling secure. It's holding on to things and you have a lot to offer. You all had, had, he had a lot to offer. You guys have a lot to offer. But there is that fear of, you know, am I going to lose something? Am I going to be given something in return? Uh, am I going to be in some kind of financial struggle here? Will I be able to take care of myself if I give this away or if I give that away? Energy, money, uh, ideas, secrets. Uh, is somebody going to betray me? Is something somebody going to fool me? Is life going to play tricks on me? You know, all these worries. With the Page of Wands, that is able to make plans. But since the Knight is a stronger card on the page... I think a lot of dreams don't come true because of the Knight of Coins. Even though the Knight of Coins can take this a step further and move on with the Page of Wands, who is all about uh, playing with ideas, creating dreams, thinking about things, planning things, but you know, executing things is a little bit more of an issue. With the Seven of Swords is you don't want to, you can't trust life. That's the, um, there was too much pain, too much betrayal, too much hurt, too much trauma, too many tears to be able to trust life. So trusting life, it's okay to play with ideas. And if you examine situations with a lot of care, you don't have to be afraid, you know, you know what you have to give, you will know what you can give. So um, knowing your worth is a little bit of an issue. Self-worth, self-love, self-trust, trust in being able to trust the world. I'm going to, I don't have room anymore to give this a side ruffle. Side shuffle, I'm doing it here. And... Tools you can use to change things. Uh, tools you can use to change uh, the course of actions is a uh, two of cups. Finding like-minded people and being very aware of your spiritual power. Nine of coins is about you are, you have enough. You have a lot. You have enough. You don't have to worry about things. You can let go of, you know, at some point you will know that you can let go of all the worry about your body, about your health, about your wealth, about, you know, safety, security, being safe in the world, being safe with other people, being able to trust yourself. That's where you can work your way towards with the Queen of Cups, which is about spirituality, depth, um, Feelings, examining your feelings and then coming to the conclusion that there are plenty enough of people to build a castle with. And these people are in a box, but as long as there is the willingness to share and to give and to ex uh, accept and to, you know, there are enough people out there that, um, that you can still feel safe with. So I hope this makes a little bit of sense and 90 minutes. Bye.